It feels like America is more divided than it's been in decades. Getting along with those who disagree on politics has become difficult, tearing families and communities apart. It seems like now, politics isn't just about what you think, but who you are. It's personal. We've seen this feeling cause growing extremism on both ends of the political spectrum. The events in Charlottesville, Virginia, showed the ability of white nationalists to assemble off the internet and into the real world. Earlier that same summer, left-wing extremists essentially shut down Evergreen State College because a white professor dared show up on a day white people were asked to be absent from campus. And it seems like left-wing and right-wing extremists are just getting the other side even more riled up. There's a name for this problem, and it's called identity politics. Identity politics is the tendency for people of a particular race, religion, gender, or ethnicity to organize politically around that special interest for the sole purpose of advancing that interest without concern or regard for any larger group or collective. You might ask, what's so bad about identity politics? You wouldn't care about identity politics if it was your identity group being discriminated against. This is a misunderstanding of what identity politics is. There is a time for identities to come together when they are being discriminated against as a class, but the goal of these movements are only ethical when they seek to remove the political impact of identity, not enforce it. The civil rights movement is a great example. The civil rights movement was not identity politics. It was about destroying identity politics, creating a society where we'd see people as individuals rather than members of groups. In the words of Martin Luther King Jr. Because I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. That's not in line with the recent push on the left to create black-only dorms at colleges, or women-only film screenings, or spaces without white people. Nor is it in line with those on the right who believe America should be a Christian-only nation, or want to mandate gender roles, and obviously not those who want a white ethnostate. Let's treat other identities as we would have them treat ours. There is beauty in different people with different ideas and of different backgrounds coming together to form America. But when it comes to politics and policy, let's treat people as people, recognizing and celebrating their unique characteristics as individuals instead of reducing them into an identity group. I'm Joseph Klein. Thanks for watching.